Hi, this is Catherine Worley, and this is an orientation video for the moms, uh, for the girls that are going to be in the Stepping Stones program of Northwest Bible Baptist Church. So I appreciate you spending a little time understanding our policies and seeing how our program works, and you can certainly call me at 224-629-6892. If you have any questions. Basically, I'm just going to quickly go through our handbook so that moms know what uh, what basically the girls will be responsible for for um, earning badges. So we have a stepping stones handbook and Every girl who has joined Stepping Stones was given three copies of a book report. This is now the standard book report for all Stepping Stones badges. It's the two page book report um, where the girl would write five interesting or important facts about what she read. And then on the back, draw four pictures and they should color them in. You know, this is a report, try to do a good job on it. And then for the missionary or literature badges, there's an extra question about a character trait shown in the book. Once your girl has completed this book report, the mom would sign here to say that the book report is complete, that spelling and grammar are correct, and that the girl used complete sentences. So basically, it's going to be the responsibility of the mom now to make sure that the writing requirement for any badges has been fulfilled successfully. I can give you more copies of this book report form. I also have the Word document form that I can send to you, and you can print out as many copies of this as you want. Again, this is the common book report form for all badges now. I went through the handbook and all of the badges have similar requirements. They have the same requirements as each other, which is to complete this book report. Prior to now, some badges had extra writing activities, um, <clears throat> but we did away with those. And this is the main writing activity to earn badges. So when you open your handbook, you're going to see a table of contents and the front few pages are colored pages with our program policies. It's also a table of contents. So let me go ahead and just give you a brief overview of some of our policies. First of all, um, there are five categories of badges. So there are press badges, culture badges, domestic badges, nature badges, and then, and then spiritual life badges. So badges fall into different categories. First of all, um, as far as attendance, girls are given an excused absence if they're sick or if they're out of town. Or we say, if you're dead, we'll excuse you. If, it, if they miss a meeting for any other reason, it's considered an unexcused absence and girls are allowed three unexcused absence during each session. So a session starts in September and runs for 14 weeks into December. Then the second session starts in January and runs through 14 weeks through April. So your girls are allowed three unexcused absences because we do know there are times uh, family have visitors, um, you know, or just they want to have their birthday party or something, and there's a conflict. You are allowed to miss stepping stones, but not more than three times for an unexcused reason. And we also ask that you're prompt in picking up your daughter at three o'clock under the canopy after the stepping stones meeting. Uh, we have here that the written requirements should be done in pencil. That's just that just is a requirement. A recommendation that makes it easier for the girl to correct if they've made any mistakes. Our girls do eat lunch 
uh, before our stepping stones meeting starts. So <clears throat> when the girls come to the stepping stones room, that's when they are under my responsibility. So until they get to the meeting, until they get to our room, they are under your care. So um, some girls are going out to the car to get materials. Some girls are going to the bathroom. Some girls are going to their locker. Fine with me what they do, just as you know that they are under your care at that time. They are not under my care till they get to the stepping stone classroom. I really um, feel a great sense of responsibility for the safety of these girls. And we have a large group and we have a very large, busy church. So when they come to the Stepping Stones room to eat lunch, we'll stay together as a group. They can't go to the um, machines to buy soda or candy. You know, if you want them to have soda or candy, uh, you can go to the machine and, and get that stuff for them and bring them, bring the items to the girl. But I try to keep the girls together for safety purposes. And I just ask that if there's anything you want them to do before the meeting, you understand that they're under your care. Uh, our uniform is our tote bag and our handbook. And there's a registration fee of $17 at the beginning of the first session, which is in September, and at the beginning of the second session, which is in January. Once we have, a, have decided what our craft will be, there'll also be an additional craft fee for putting together those packages putting together their craft packages. Every week I do fill out the dreaded chart, the uh, check on responsibility. So girls receive a check on the dreaded chart. If they're absent or if they've uh, got some unpaid library fines or if they haven't paid their registration fee yet, um, if they've forgotten their handbook or forgotten their, their book bag, if they're tardy to the meeting, or if they didn't call their leader or call me to tell about an absence. So uh, we call this the certificate of responsibility is given to every girl at the end of every month who has not received any marks on the, what we call the dreaded chart. There are earned activities at the end of the first and second session. And so fourth and fifth graders, if they earn two badges, They've earned the activity. Sixth graders requirement a little harder. They've earned three badges. And um, again, that's something worth working towards. And the girls always have a lot of fun at those. We have a club verse and a club song. They actually will learn some sign language for those verse, for that verse and that song. But at the end of the year, we have an awards program. And girls are eligible to earn special year-end awards, but they have to meet the criteria. Fourth graders have to earn at least four badges in the entire year. Fifth graders have to earn five badges in the entire year. And sixth graders have to earn six badges in the entire year. And that must include at least one new spiritual life badge. So all girls are eligible to earn all of these badges. Uh, these awards, Miss Diligent for the girl who's earned the most badges in the year, Miss Faithful for the girl who has the best attendance, Miss Finisher for the girl who has finished the craft project, and Miss Responsibility for um, having the fewest marks on the dirty chart throughout the year. And if there's a tie, if there's a four way, five way, eight way, 15 way tie, that's fine with me to award that to any girl who has met those requirements. There's also some other awards that the girls can work above and beyond to earn. That's the Christian Service Award. That's for those who serve the Lord in our church on a weekly basis, either by being a bus worker, a Saturday bus worker, a Saturday uh, soul winning nursery worker, or uh, get, being on a weekly cleaning schedule for one of the nurseries. So, 4 a.m. Nursery worker, we tried a little experiment with having several girls, and we're going to go back to just having two helpers. So we'll start with the sixth graders. Uh, if there are sixth graders that want to try to earn this badge, work towards this badge, that would be fine, and preference would be given to a girl.
girl who has not yet earned that badge. The Soul Winners Award goes to any girl who has earned the Soul Winners badge and then wants to lead an additional person to the Lord. And that can be in any year. And the Star Award is given to any girl who earned 30 or more badges in their entire time in civics. So those, that's how we try to motivate our girls. So first of all, the craft badges. We work on the craft badges together as a group. So uh, we do one craft a year. And so you won't be working on a craft with your girls at home at seven. But the next category of badges are the culture badges. So that starts on page 20. The culture badges are the literature badge, the music badge, the sign language badge, and the writing badge. For literature, now you can only earn this badge one time in your stepping in your years in stepping stone. They can't earn it, can't earn a literature badge every year. If you work on the badge in the fourth grade, you only have to read one book. In fifth grade, you have to read two books. Sixth grade, you have to read three books. So I'm not going to go through all of the requirements here, but just to point out, you'll see at the bottom of all of these pages, when the mom says that the girl has completed the requirement, whether it's a book report or um, when we get into domestics, there'll be some other badges. Once the mom has signed that the badge is complete, then the girl will bring the handbook to me and I will sign as director that they've earned that badge. So you'll notice at the bottom of each of the pages for the badges, there's parent signature when complete and then director's signature when they're complete. So as the girls work on their badges at home during the week, um, as they complete badges, you'll sign their progress. And then at the end, you'll sign the bottom of the page saying you believe they've earned the badge. As far as the writing badge, we do have a writing contest every year and we alternate between poem writing and essay writing. And we have the uh, rules for the contest. And so uh, your girl might actually earn a writing badge if she wins the contest for that year. The next type of badge we have are the domestic badges, which are, you know, baking, cooking, cleaning, laundry. And as you'll see, the mom signs as she, as her daughter completes the requirements. And then the mom will sign at the bottom when all of the requirements are met. And that's when the girl will bring the book to me and then I'll sign saying that uh, she's earned that badge. And a girl may just earn this badge just one time while they're in stepping stone. So you can't earn a baking, cannot earn a baking badge every year, cannot earn a cleaning badge every year. Uh, for the cleaning badge, they have to clean a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a living room for eight weeks. Now, you can only work on a room for one week at a time. In other words, let's say a uh, bathroom. The girl might spend a little time cleaning the sink and the toilet, and then the next day go in and clean the floor and clean the mirror or, or change the liner in the, um, in the trash can, whatever. So there are, you cannot, you cannot just clean the bathroom seven times in one week and count that as seven cleanings. No, it's one per week. And sometimes, you know, you can't get a whole bathroom in one, in one day. So for instance, their bedroom, there might be one day when they um, make their bed and uh, put their clothes away, but then there'd be another day where they would dust or vacuum. So the mom would fill this out. This normally takes a long time, one of the longer badges to earn. And then the mom fills out at the bottom her signature that the girl has completed the requirements. And then the girl will come to me and I'll fill out that she has actually earned the badge. So we have cooking, cook a bre five breakfasts, five lunch, five dinners. It's okay sometimes uh, if you have to eat breakfast at dinner time, you've done all your dinners and you need another breakfast. Okay, we've done that ourselves in our house. We've had waffles and bacon, which is a breakfast meal served at dinner time so that our girl could 
um, you know, serve a, serve a breakfast. But it's important that these meals are from scratch. Um, it's, it's not opening up a box of macaroni and cheese and adding um, boiling water and, and milk. All right, so it's this, your daughter will learn to cook the meals that your family likes, the kind of food that your family likes. And believe me, it's gonna be a blessing as she works her way through these domestic ads. You'll be able to say to her, oh, someone's coming over. We're gonna have visitors, please go clean the guest bathroom. And she'll clean it exactly the way you as the mom likes it. Or, um, you know, in the future, maybe you're down for a little while, you're a little sick and your daughter will be able to pull together the uh, spaghetti and meatballs that your family likes or some other meal that she has learned to cook that you taught her to cook during the cooking day. Hand sewing is considered a craft, so you will not be working on hand sewing. We teach hand sewing every three years instead of two. Ironing, for the ironing bag, um, they have to know how to operate the iron, how to work the temperatures, how to work your iron. And the girls will have to iron in their own clothes for eight weeks. So what that means is whatever needs ironing, she irons. If it's just her school uniform and that's all that needed at that week, well, that's fine. But if nothing needed ironing, then, you know, she didn't do any ironing that week. She does not have to iron the entire family's clothes for eight weeks, just whatever clothes she needs for herself. And then she also has to uh, know how to iron boys' shirts and boys' pants. And then a little trick there is they like to do their younger brothers' boys in pants rather than their dads because they're a lot smaller. And uh, the last domestic badge here is the laundry badge. And they would have to do their family's laundry once for eight weeks. They don't have to do all the laundry all week long just once a week, but they do have to know how to sort the laundry, how to use your machine, how to set the dryer settings. In other words, how you do your laundry, how you like your towels folded, how you like your socks folded. This is, a, this is your chance to teach your girl that. Then we get into the nature badges. Most of these are book reports. But sometimes you will be asked to like build a birdhouse, which you can just build a little birdhouse from, from a kit if you want, or you can Google and find um, information how to build a birdhouse or a bird feeder from household items. And again, the mother will sign at the bottom when the requirements are completed. So for instance, in kindergarten, you have to plant in a container, a plant, flower, or an herb, and it has to be from seed or bulb. You have to take care of it fully until it matures and take some blossoming. And once that's done, once that's done, you can take a picture of it if you want and send it to me or take a picture of it and put it in the book. But that's when that badge would be considered complete. Not just when you see a little green, but when it actually comes to fruition. Pets, trees, they all pretty much have the same requirement, wildflowers. And then the last category is the spiritual life badges. And the spiritual life badges are the only badges that they can earn year after year. Bible memory one, Bible memory two for the second year, Bible memory three for the third year. And the mom would sign when the girl has her chapter memorized, word perfect. The mom signs for when she's, the girl's read through the Bible for the year, she can earn Bible reading every year, can earn grandparents badge every year, grandparents one, two, and three. The first time you work on grandparents, you need two grandparents. The second time, if you're gonna go for grandparents two, you're gonna need four grandparents. The requirement gets a little harder as you get older. If you're going to go for grandparents three, your third year in Stepping Stones, you're going to need six grandparents don't have six grandparents, you can use people from our church that can act as grandparents and you can write them love notes and find out their favorite verses and such. So then we have missionary others. Others is in a way kind of like grandparents. The first time you work on others, you have to do it 
for two people. If you're going for your other two badge, it's four people. If you're going for your other three badge, it would be six people. And that's when you would, you know, phone six different people or uh, make something for six different people. By the way, if your girl's working on the baking badge, that's excellent to be used also with grandparents or with others. You can give those baked goods to people as part of the requirement for a spiritual life badge. The last badge in the book is the Soul Winners badge, where they have to have uh, verses memorized. And then uh, the book report on Let's Go Soul Winning by Jack Hiles. And then they just have to lead a person to the Lord. And uh, I highly recommend you take them out and uh, you know just keep going soul winning till they get the Lord gives them an opportunity to see someone get saved. If they see a second person saved that year or even in later years, then she would also earn the soul winner's special year end award. So anyway, I do appreciate you having your girls in Stepping Stones. Thank you so much for watching this introductory orientation video. It takes the place of having to have a meeting, but you can certainly call me if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.